It's the last few hours of campaigning in Russia ahead of Sunday's parliamentary election. On Saturday, an electioneering silence will be observed with no more canvassing allowed ahead of the ballot. Russia Today correspondent Alexander Kushanitska reports. It's the final countdown. Political parties are fighting for the last votes. Political analysts are betting on the outcome. PR agencies are evaluating the campaign. The biggest development of the election was the president himself. The statement in which he agreed to head the electoral list came as a surprise, also for the United Russia, and skyrocketed their ratings. 7 to 10 percent of supporters of unity, United Russia Party support the party because of the program of leaders of the party. More than 90 percent of people who support the party support it because the party is supported by Putin. Putin says this decision will help to make sure that Russia maintains the same course. If uh, somebody expected uh, that as a result of those elections Russian stability would be undermined, it was a mistake. And after uh, what uh, the Russians faced in 1990, stability is uh, really important. Although the move also has its drawbacks. Now United Russia, it was dominant before in a political landscape and now it is like Everest uh, among pygmies. Uh, and uh, this potentially might uh, have some challenges for Russian democratic development. These days nobody's guessing about who will get the majority of votes. And uh, the whole intrigue is how many other parties would enter into the Duma. Russia's opposition parties are making their final moves and have big hopes on the international observers. An invitation to observers to monitor polling backfired. The OSCE, Democratic Institutions and Human Rights Bureau, canceled their trip, saying the Russian side failed to issue visas in time. Russia disagrees and says it did everything in strict accordance with its obligations. Around 400 others accepted their invitations, among them the Council of Europe Parliamentary Assembly. The preparation, technically speaking, uh, towards the polling station and the operations of the elections, that they are on a good way. And in general way speaking, uh, there are some concerns, uh, uh, but uh, that is also like in, 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 in uh, many countries, the situation between majority and opposition. The Central Elections Committee has also been actively campaigning for a record turnout. 700,000 absentee ballots were given out. Polling stations have been installed in airports and train stations. Today the names of the candidates for the presidential race are more fascinating than the winners in the parliamentary election, as the struggle for a place in the Duma is followed by another struggle for a place under the Kremlin stars. Alexander Kasharnitsky.